We're going to get into the religion of Satan and his Jewish kids. Ooh, Y'all pray Man. we don't get banned tonight. All right? But we about to go weird. Cap, what, what was the inspiration of the title? Because that sounds like deep like yeah, dealing with christians all week oh, man, man. <laughs> yeah man. About and then the lord loose. revealed to you something about his evil ass kids that go right around <laughs> yeah. so you got to throw them in there too you got to <laughs> expose them at all costs man hey so let's get into it man uh romans 15 and 4 let's get that man go ahead y'all jump in anytime you need to man go ahead bring it up the book of Romans, chapter 15 and verse 4. Yeah. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, uh -huh. that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So um, the things written, when we understand that the things written aforetime was written for our learning, it, it gives you a new mind state because it is so much mm -hmm. that we need to learn that was written aforetime before the second coming of the Messiah. That's right. That's right. Um, it's not the Bible's not like a um, you know a weekend cram session type thing, and then you go take the test, and then you all good. That's not how it is. It says that you got to study this thing. You got to meditate. Matter of fact, give me that in uh, Romans thirteen eleven to show you why it is. It's it's got to be a sense of urgency in learning the things that was written aforetime uh, in these last days. Romans thirteen and eleven. But I want you to start at. The bottom part where it says for now Romans chapter 13 and verse 11 For now is our salvation Nearer than when we believe That's why the things Written aforetime learning those things Have to be taken serious Because the thing because When you look out into the prophecies That are going on today um, We see that our salvation Is nearer than what we thought When we mm -hmm. actually came of age right. of actually right. knowing about God right and that, and that should also turn on the lights like where are you uh, because the salvation is coming near mm -hmm. and it's not just uh, lollipops and flip flops coming near it's, it's destruction are you ready for that salvation right exactly right so uh, read that part at bottom part again for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. That's why we have to learn the things that was written aforetime. Now jump back up to the top of that verse. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. High time. That means it's, it's, it's past the yep. early morning time. High time means it's, it's the noon. It's, the, it's in the, the sun's in the highest right, point. Right. That means we're on our way down. The sun's on his way down. That means right. darkness is coming. Right. Yeah. And that's coming from what? Those ICBM nuclear missiles. Right. Woo. High time. Oh, damn. That was a hell of a bomb right there. I nope. like that one. They, they working on it. Hit that one again, man. We got a new bomb up in there. Damn. Damn. Wow. To just that sound it. like uh, Satan 2. A <laughs> <laughs> Sarbat from Russia. All praise. But it's, that's why it's imperative that we learn the things that are written aforetime. Because our salvation is nearer than when we believed. Christ said he's coming like a thief in the night. And in order, in order to know um, that our salvation is nearer, some things got to take place. Isaiah 34, 16. How the, uh, the only way that you are going to know that our salvation is near. Isaiah 34, verse 16. Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Read it again for the people. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. That's how you're going to understand that our salvation is near. When you begin to, to study the law, you graduate from that and then begin meditating on the, the prophecies and the, and the wisdom of the ancients, you understand that salvation is here. Because what did Christ say? Watch as well as pray. Pray, right. 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 So when so, you study and yeah. read, you see the things going on the mm -hmm. earth and you understand the end is near. Go ahead, officer. No. So I was saying, so that's why Christ said, blessed is he that read it, mm, because you'll know, the, you'll understand Pull the that. signs Let's of get the it. Signs. Let's get that, man. Give me that in our Revelations 1. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 3. Read blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy. And keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Mm, See, that go. time that is at hand, you'll be aware of yeah, it. Yeah. Right. Because you're reading, you're watching. Yeah. You're watching the prophecies happen. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. That's, that's it. Left our salvation nearer than nearer. when we believe. That's right. that time is at hand. All hey, praises. officer, just uh, because the heathens know the prophecies better than we do. 
Because one thing about us, we'll say that the Bible is not the true book on the planet Earth. Right. And then we'll discount the Bible starting off saying that King James created a book of demonology or King James wrote the Bible, which he authorized the Bible. But all of this is to try to steer you away from the Bible. But the other nations, they know that this Bible is ours. You mind if I just pull one quick yeah, precept? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Ezekiel 39 and let's read verse 23 real quick. Because it's going to prove to us that the heathens believe the Bible or the other nations believe the Bible more than we do. The people of the book, the blacks, the Hispanics, and the Native American Indians, which God calls the Israelites. That's who you are, right? Read. That's Ezekiel right. Ezekiel chapter 39 and verse 23. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity. So the other nations know the reason why we came over here from the west coast of Africa, which is called the slave coast or the gold coast or Negro land, so on and so forth. They know that we came over here on cargo slaves because of our sins, because we disobeyed the commandments of God. They understand the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. They understand the prophecies that was written of us. What would happen if we disobey God's laws? Read. Correct. Because they trespassed against me. Therefore, had I my face from them and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword. And that's the reason why. Till this day, they try to keep us in sin with the rap music, with um, fornication, idolatry, so on and so forth, right? Go ahead, Cap. Go back to Isaiah 34, 16. <laughs> God, this guy's long with it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just the spirit. Oh, oh praise this. Then the drink. Oh, Isaiah 34, 16. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. Read that. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. So understand that uh, our, our salvation is near. It's going to cause us to have to read and not only read Joshua 1 and 8 not to only just read that ain't enough cause Christians read Muslims read but what is God requiring of us to do read that Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8 this yeah. book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night there we go that's what we gotta do in our reading there must be meditation of the law of God. That's right. Read on. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. So uh, not only just reading, meditation of the word of God has to take place as well. And, and this is the thing that happens with God. Um, the more you meditate, the more you read his word, the uh, more you learn the things that are written aforetime, Something begins to happen spiritually with you. Um, Psalms 119 verse 18. And this is what our brothers and sisters that are in the world that follow after the religion of Satan and his Jewish kids. They have not attained to this because they have not given the time of reading and meditation to the word of God. It's only used for feel good dancing and things of that nature. Psalms 119 verse 18. Look what happens in the meditation after the reading, go ahead. Psalms chapter 119 and verse 18. Open thou mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. Read it one more again. Open thou mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. Once you meditate upon the law of God in your reading, God begins to do something for you spiritually. He opens up your eyes to behold the wonderful things out of his Bible. So meditation Ooh, and reading good. and studying of the Bible is not for naught. No, there's something spiritual happens in the process of time that your eyes begin to open up. And when your eyes begin to open up to the word of God, then you can identify the religion of Satan hands down, mm -hmm. easy, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. and his kids. Mm -hmm. yep. But you got you to gotta meditate. You got to read to even get to that point. Once, you're, once you right. meditate upon it, God is going to do what? Read verse 18 again. Open thou mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. And then you'll be able to realize that Satan has a religion. Satan has a religion. Give me that in Ephesians chapter 2. Let's dive into some of the, I guess, the attributes of the religion of Satan. Uh, Ephesians 2 and read verse 2. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 2. 
wherein in time past he walked according to the course of this world. Uh huh. The course of this world. According to the prince of the power of the air. According to the prince of the power of the air, meaning the world. Go ahead. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. One of the things that uh, and to be involved in Satan's religion, you have to go uh, uh, fall into disobedience. That's how you follow after Satan. That's that's one of the things to be a member of Satan's religion. You have to be willing to be disobedient to God. Right. right. So uh, don't to start off. Remember, you have to understand Satan. Satan is adverse mm. to the commandments of God. There you go. You have disobedience. That's adverse mm -hmm. to God. Okay. Lawlessness. There you that's go. adverse to God. There you go. So that's part of the religion of Satan. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, read that again for him. Wherein in time past he walked according to the course of this world, mm -hmm. according to the prince of the power of the air. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. In the children of disobedience. To be in Satan's religion, you gotta be disobedient right. Right. to God. Straight up, hands down. Give me that in Job chapter 2. Watch this. Job chapter 2. And I want you to read. We're gonna do some reading here. 1 through 9. Because what did we just read? It says, Seek ye out the book of the Lord or what? Read. Man, we put the right. Bible into uh, play. The script's coming alive right now. Mm, Our Bible right. coming to life. Shout out to uh, the mm -hmm. That's a cold uh, precept. Job 2, let's read verse 1. Job chapter 2 and verse 1. Again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. So I, I remember when Paul said that when I want to do good, evil is always present. Right. Satan is always going mm. to be amongst the sons of God, whispering in their ear to get them to be disobedient right. to their father. Right. He's always there amongst the angels, right? The sons of God. Read on. And the Lord said unto Satan, from whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. Uh-huh. Doing what, though? He ain't just give me that in, Peter. Because Satan just ain't strolling through the earth trying to look at uh, the, the malls that, uh, <laughs> that his kids done created. He ain't trying to watch the this? newest television show on HBO. He ain't just strolling through the land, uh, got his, his toes in the white sands <laughs> in the beaches. He ain't just out here enjoying what's what going on down here. Mm -hmm. He got a purpose for walking there to and go. fro. Through the earth. Go ahead, read it. First Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the That's devil. That's what you said, Cap, mm -hmm. that Satan is an adversary, disobedient, adverse to God. Read Satan, it. the devil, is doing what? As a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. So, <laughs> Satan ain't on vacation. Right. When, he, when, when he goes before the both sides, he comes down here on earth. He is not on vacation. He's not chilling at all. He is walking up and down, seeking whom he may devour. Meaning what? <coughs> seeking whom he can recruit into his there religion. You go. Right. And, yep. and come at you. you know the craziest thing about it is a lot of you know how the scriptures say that 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 man of sin must be revealed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a lot of people don't even know that he's Satan walking to and fro. Right. He's, at work. Yeah. he's yeah. at work. He's so at work. He's at work. So that's how he's able to to pounce mm. on souls like that don't lion. even yeah. know yet. So in other yeah. words, in other words, some people don't know that they are antichrist because that's what it means to be adverse. You are yeah. anti. They don't know who he is. You don't know. You don't know that you're walking in the spirit of antichrist. Yep. Uh, go back to that script, uh, Job chapter two, verse two. So now we know Satan ain't on vacation down here. He's he's recruiting into his religion. Uh, go ahead, read verse three. Job chapter 2 and verse 3. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil? Uh -huh. And still he holdeth fast his integrity, although thou movest me against him to destroy him without cause. That's what happened in chapter 1. Now keep reading. And Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, yea, all that a man hath will he give for his life. How does Satan know that? Because Satan got plenty of people in his religion that have, at the point of sickness, they gave their life to Satan. They didn't send up no prayers, no nothing. They turned to the doctor and said, what kind of medicine you got? Mm. Damn. <laughs> God who? No, he can't help me right now. Doctor, <laughs> what do you got to get me out of this situation? How does Satan know that? That a man, skin for skin for his life, 
He'll turn his back right, on you, right. God, because mm. Satan got a bunch of people in his religion already right. that follow after him and don't seek after God mm. in the time of, of, of their health of their crisis. Needs. Or even finance gap. Got people that need finances. Yeah, they the, struggling with their bills. What they do? They turn to OnlyFans. Oh, damn. <laughs> or, damn. Or, <laughs> or, or, they'll take from the streets. Or they'll take from the congregation. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Got a point there. Hey. Let's go back to it. Uh, verse four. Verse four. And Satan answered the Lord and said, skin for skin. Yea, all that a man hath will he give for his life. But put forth thine hand now and touch his bone and his flesh. And he will curse thee to thy face. He gonna do what? Curse thee to thy face. Read on. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is in thine hand, but save his life. So when Satan forth from the presence of the Lord and smote Job with sore boils from the sole of his foot unto his crown. It was mm. immediately Satan went to work. Yeah. Immediately Satan went to work to try to get Job in, to recruit him into his religion, his Ooh, way of life. Is. Read on. And he took him a pot shirt to scrape himself with all. And he sat down among the ashes. Now look at this. Look what look what Satan did. Now Satan can't get to a righteous man, right? So what did he do? The same thing he did with, with Adam and Eve, right? He went immediately to the woman mm. because Job didn't crack. He didn't give in to Satan uh, pressuring him through sickness, right? Mm -hmm. That's Read verse right. 9. Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thine integrity? Curse God and die. Do what? Damn. Curse God and die. Now, see, this is the thing. I was putting this together. I thought, damn, what? He said curse God and die. That's the religion of Satan. What does it really mean to curse God and die? A lot of us, don't. we don't think about what that truly actually is to curse God and die. But we got examples of it in the Bible. Mm -hmm. uh, give me that in the book of Numbers. Numbers chapter, is that one I want? Let me see. Uh, Leviticus. Leviticus 24 and uh, verse 10 and 11. Watch this. What does it mean to curse God and die? Because that's what Satan wanted Job to do to get him on his side. Read that. Leviticus 24, 10 and 11. Leviticus chapter 24 and verse 10. And the son of an Israelitish woman. Whose father was an Egyptian. So he wasn't an actual Israelite, right? He had a father that was a Hamite, but his mother was an, uh, was an Israelite. So he was amongst us, right? Read on. Went out among the children of Israel, and this son of the Israelitish woman and a man of Israel strove together in the camp. So they was fighting, basically, is what's going on. They had a disagreement. Now read verse 11. And the Israelitish woman's son blasphemed the name of the Lord uh -huh. and cursed. And did what? And cursed. Cursed God and died. What did he say? Your God ain't nothing. So what does it mean? What did Satan try to get uh, Job to do? Mm -hmm. Blaspheme the name of God. Curse God and, won't you just curse God and die? Cursing God is actually to do what? Blaspheme the name of God. And now pull the, pull the definition because... Blaspheme. Yeah, about blaspheme. A lot of people don't actually know what it means to blaspheme. Um, pull it up for them. It's, I think it's Merriam's that we got. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, read that for us, officer. The Merriam-Webster's Dictionary. Blasphemy. The act of insulting or showing contempt or lack of reverence for God. Or what? Mm. Reverence for God. Or lack of reverence for God. So when you read it here in, in Leviticus 24... Insulting. That he cursed, I mean, he cursed guys. Hey, man, your God ain't nothing. Right. Who the hell is he? <clears throat> you don't know how many guys we got back in Egypt? Egypt yeah. They're going to judge your God. They're going to condemn. They're coming for y'all. That's what he's doing. So when you read that Satan jumped on Job's wife, mm. she tried to get Job to blaspheme the name of God to do Look what? It. Pull, that, pull that definition back up again. Try to get uh, Job to do what? Read it one more time. The act of insulting. Or showing contempt or lack of reverence for God. Show a lack of reverence toward God. Hey, Cap, remember yeah. um, the king of Egypt, he did that. And all the other Egyptians, they said, who is the God of the Hebrews? There you go. There you and go. God judged all of them. Yep, yeah. exactly yeah, right. That's a cold precept. Man, that's a good one. Let's uh, uh, go back to Job 2 and uh, read verse 9 again. And then we're going to read 10 with it. Yes, sir. Job chapter 2 and verse 9. Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thine integrity? Curse God and die. Curse God. Show a lack of reverence to, to, uh, to God. Seek, seek help elsewhere other than praying to your God. 
curse God and die. Go ahead. But he said unto her, thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of God and shall we not receive evil? In all this, did not Job sin with his lips? There you go. There you go. Satan couldn't get Job in his religion. He couldn't get him to convert. He mm -hmm. couldn't get him. He couldn't devour Job. No. That's right. Job said, man, hey, we receive good and evil at the hand of the Lord. That, and that's, that's what integrity is. Yeah. Integrity is when your words and your deeds line up. And that's Correct. exactly what you see an example of Job. He had integrity. That's exactly right, that's man. Right. Go ahead. Uh, go, go to uh, another. Let's get another example. Give me that in uh, First Chronicles 21 and 1. This is what Satan do. Yeah, go ahead. You know what's so important about knowing that God does good in the evil? When the evil happened, you know, it's God doing it. So you're not like, oh, who wants me, this, this and that? Good oh, point. let me go turn to yep. Satan. You know, yeah. God is the one doing it. Yeah. Yep. Good point, man. First Chronicles 21, verse 1. First Chronicles chapter 21 and verse 1. And Satan stood up against Israel and provoked David to number Israel. So Satan here, once again, mm -hmm. now he now he is he is uh at King David's neck to do what? To number Israel. Uh let's see, keep reading. And David said to Joab and to the rulers of the people, Go number Israel from Beersheba even to Dan, and bring the number of them to me that I may know it. And Job answered, the Lord make his people. Joab. Joab answered, the Lord make his people an hundred times so many more as they be. But my Lord, the king, are they not all my Lord's servants? He said, they all your people, man. Why do you need to know how many of them is? No matter how many it is, they are all up under your rule. Right? Get, read on. Why then doth my Lord require this thing? Why will he be a cause of trespass to Israel? Why is it a trespass to Israel? That means Joab knew something was wrong in David asking for the number of Israel, which who's behind this? Mm -hmm. Satan is behind it. Mm -hmm. Trying to get David to do what? Be disobedient. Right. That's how he rose. Now read on. Nevertheless, the king's word prevailed against Joab. That means, man, hey, do what I told you to do, man. You up under my command. I'm the king. You the general. Do what I tell you to do, man. Go ahead. Wherefore, Joab departed and went throughout all Israel and came to Jerusalem. And Joab gave the sum of the number of the people unto David. Okay, that, that's that's it right there. Now, uh, I want you to go to Numbers. Is that what I want? Let me see. Uh, no, keep reading. Read verse 5 or 6. Verse 5. And Joab gave the sum of the number of the people unto David. And all they of Israel were a thousand thousand and a hundred thousand men that drew sword. And Judah was four hundred three score and ten thousand men that drew sword. Judah was deep. Go ahead. But Levi and Benjamin counted he not among them. Uh huh. For the king's word was abominable to Joab. Joab said, "Man, I ain't doing this, man. I know it's wrong. I ain't counting Benjamin and Levi. I'm gonna right, give him a right. wrong number. Right. I know Correct. something ain't right. <laughs> something ain't right. What's going on right now with David? He know we ain't supposed to be doing this. Give me that in the book of Numbers now. Who was supposed to be numbering the children of Israel? Numbers 26, let's read 1 through 4. Let's no, read that. Numbers chapter 26 and verse 1. Yeah. And it came to pass after the plague that the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest. There's a, who are those? Levites, right? The priests, Eleazar, Moses, Aaron, all of them is Levites. Read on. Same. Take the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel. Count up all the children of Israel. Moses, Aaron, Eleazar, Levites, count up all the children of Israel. Okay. Keep reading. From 20 years old and upward, throughout their father's house, all that are able to go to war in Israel. Uh -huh. And Moses and Eleazar, the priests, Levites, spake, go ahead. Spake with them in the plains of Moab by Jordan, near Jericho, saying, uh -huh. Take the sum of the people from 20 years old and upward, as the Lord commanded Moses and the children of Israel, which went forth out of the land of Egypt. So we see Levites taking the sum of all the people, the number of all the people. Now let's go back. Numbers chapter 1. Numbers chapter 1. And uh, let's read 1 through 4. Numbers chapter 1 and verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai. In the tabernacle of the congregation on the first day of the second month. Uh -huh. In the second year after they were come out of the land of Egypt. Now let's Saint. see what God told Moses in, back in the beginning. Go ahead. 
Take ye the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel. That's, a, that's another Levite. Count up all the children of Israel. Read on. After their families, by the house of their fathers, with the number of their names, every male by their poles. From 20 years old and upward, all that are able to go forth to war in Israel. Thou and Aaron shall number them by their armies. Him and Aaron. Now jump over to verse uh, 17 through 19. Verse 17. And Moses and Aaron took these men, which are expressed by their names. Uh -huh. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. So this is new moon. Go ahead. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. Uh -huh. As the Lord commanded Moses... So he numbered them in the wilderness of Sinai. So what did Satan do with David? He got him to be disobedient to God. Now, when you read on, mm -hmm. it was something that God wanted to be passed amongst the right, children of right. Israel to get rid of some of the wicked. Mm -hmm. right. But we see where Satan is in the midst, getting uh, the children, the sons of God to be disobedient. That's what that's one of the requirements that Satan uh, that you must have to follow after Satan's religion is that you're willing to be disobedient mm -hmm. to your God when you know what you're doing ain't right. Mm -hmm. The hell is this? That's what he requires. Now check this out. Now we because we're talking about the religion of Satan, mm -hmm. and uh, there's the Satan's children. They tell you who they are in the earth. They mm -hmm. are the, they are disobedient and averse to God and everything that he does. Right. Pull up Article One, man. Some Watch this, y'all. Be hurt. Uh, read that from the National Catholic Report. National Catholic Report. This is from them. Read it. Pope S signals. S scroll down some so we can see it. Go ahead. Pope signals openness to blessings for gay couples. For what? Gay couples. Uh huh. Study of that women's ordination. I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you, wow. the, the religion of Satan got millions of followers. He got a leader too. I, I wonder why. I wonder why he would uh, bless gay couple uh, marriages. Because his daddy told him there to. There you go. Hmm. At hmm. first to God. His daddy put it in his spirit. Right. Hey, this is my religion. You do what I tell you to do. Hmm. And go ahead and pull and read that one more again. Pope signals Thanks. openness to blessings for gay couples. How? Where'd God ever do that? Hmm. Read on. Study of women's ordination. Ordination means that they could be church leaders in the Catholic Church. Go ahead, officer. Go say something. And, and our people, way. our people think that these are the people of God. Yeah. yeah. The, these people right here, they are chosen by God. You are crazy. Man. Crazy. Hey, hey, so let you, let you so so you step about... on a, a, a image of uh, Mother Mary, so-called Mother Mary. What the hell? They'll go bananas. Oh yeah. Amazing, they'll, they'll try to hunt you down to kill you. So mm -hmm. you talking about the same people that likes uh, that's our booty warriors <laughs> yeah. that likes go. little oh, boys yeah. butts, <laughs> and uh, that's the reason why he's setting up this. Uh, if we look at the article, that's the reason why he's setting up gay marriages because yeah. that's what he cleaves onto. That's what Satan got him on. Yeah. And oh, now because you? of that, he's gonna fulfill the will of Satan. Right. No, no. Um, What's wrong with you? Go to the uh, article. Let's read just the first paragraph real quick. Pope Francis has expressed openness to Catholic blessings for same-sex couples under the condition they are not confused with marriage ceremonies for men and women. What? Mm. What are you talking you about? Go. How can there you even go. call it marriage then? That was dumb as hell. The religion of Satan causes you to be disobedient mm -hmm. to what God has established from the beginning. Right. That's K okay, Cap. That's why we always say Christianity is a ball of confusion. There yes. You go. It there has you to go. be. Straight confusion. Read it again for the people. Pope Francis has expressed openness to Catholic blessings for same-sex couples under the condition they are not confused with marriage ceremonies for men and women in what could be a watershed moment for the global Catholic Church. So mm. what he's basically saying is we're going to pretend that it's a marriage, but it's really not because we know what God says, right. but we follow after Satan. So we're going to make it appear that it's a marriage to the world. Wow. So Man. it's a marriage without being a marriage. That's crazy. Give me that Romans 1. Bring it out. Romans chapter 1. I, and I was thinking of this, man. It, 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 it makes sense that, that Paul would, um, right. that would write this 
in the book of Romans mm. <laughs> uh, where the Roman. Catholic Church oh, yeah. is. The hey, Roman right. Catholic the Church. Yeah. What the hell is this? Hey, Cap, when you said that, it just made me think he's a booty warrior for his God. Yeah, right. <laughs> I want you. I like you. <laughs> Romans 1, 25. Romans chapter 1 and verse 25. So that yeah. means that this kind of thought and these things was going on in ancient Rome during Paul's time to cause him to write this to the Israelites. They was doing this stuff way back then. What happened in the process of time is they just set up a, a, a state religion, right. Christianity, and then put in all their idolatry, set up a, what they call him, Christ vicar. Right, vicar. Christ vicar, he's like Christ on earth. Vic yeah, Dang. Cat Once Christ came, done, they just set yeah. up and made up a religion and, right. and put all of their bag of, of, of sin into it's it for really Satan yeah. and made it a worldwide religion. That's crazy. Mm. Go ahead, officer. Go say something. Nah, I was going to say, you prophesy, you, you're a prophet. They, <laughs> Go ahead. They were talking about, they've been touching touching little bo uh, boys way, from, since way, way back, back in Rome. Oh, what did he say? Oh. Romans 1, verse 25. Romans chapter 1 and verse 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? The Roman Catholic Church mm -hmm. did. Yep. And the Pope right along with it. Read on. And worshipped and served the creature more than the creator. Uh -huh. Who is blessed forever. Amen. Read on. For this cause God gave them unto vile affections. Vile affections. Mm. Man, a man and man, woman and woman, gay marriage is vile affection in the eyes of God. Read on. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Two women carpet munching mm. dildos and strap-ons is against nature, meaning it's not natural. Right. Although you might call it love, it is not natural Be love God. in the yeah. eyes of God. Therefore, it is after Satan. Yeah. Right. It's lust. <laughs> it's lust. Let's go say that, man. Uh, read that, uh, verse 27. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one go. toward another. That's what you said, Cap. They, that's all it is. It's, yeah. That's not love. Yeah. It's lust. The opposite right. of God. There you it, go. it ain't love. That's lust. <laughs> it's lust. Read on. Men with men working that which is unseemly. It's ungood. It's shameful. Go ahead. And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. Man, I was driving around today, and I saw a billboard that says, test Four, it had the test the number four free. Um, guess what? The number four, oh, test for free HIV.org. And guess what? The four, the colors of the number four was what a rainbow. Rainbow. <laughs> so, look at this. What are they telling you? they telling you that living this lifestyle. Right. You're Dang. going to It's an error And you're going to be judged by God right. oh, But we'll help you through it there you go. And get you tested oh. early So we can give you pills To wait continue no wait, following right. after Satan wait wait. All courtesy of Satan Yeah, That's true That's what it is All courtesy of Satan We know you breaking the laws of God Guess what We're going to send some blessings your way We're gonna, <laughs> and, uh, Come get tested Come get tested Come get early. this medicine So you can continue your life as a sin yeah. Yeah, that's that's true because when you look at that, the gay community, they always expect to get AIDS. It's just in a matter of when. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. just yeah. when it'd be like, oh, I got AIDS, y'all. Right. So Which now. one you got? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what you, that's I, what you, I don't know. I don't know. Man, read, <laughs> read that again, man. Stay in the spirit. Verse twenty-seven, and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman. Burned in their lust one toward another. That's all it is. It's lust. Burned to the, and the Catholic Church has tried to make provisions for the lust of man. Yeah. Keep reading. Men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meat. Uh -huh. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. They did not retain God in their knowledge. And that's what that is. God condemns uh, same-sex marriage, man with man, women with women. He well, condemns, he says, right. it's an abomination right. in his eyes. Read on. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. But they, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to where now they can, they'll consider, uh, what is, what is they consider blessing gay marriages, but not to confuse them with a marriage ceremony. Damn. That's a reprobate mind. That's a reprobate mind. Straight up. That's Only a thing reprobate left is mind. death. I'm telling you. Dumb as hell. That's it. You know the Lord uh, warns you against that. Calls it about names that say that's an abominable act. Mm -hmm. And then you go forehead long. 
The only thing you're setting yourself up for is for death. Yes, Just, but you that's know what's it. The, you know what's the irony behind it? How they use the rainbow, knowing that God put the that's, rainbow out and say, go. I destroy y'all for being sodomite. Yeah. So hey. when they use the rainbow, they're saying, God, I know you're going to destroy us. Yeah, that's, back why, then. that's why they get You don't mind us borrowing this ready. rainbow, do you? <laughs> <laughs> that's, what they, that's what they say. Crazy, Dang. man. Get that at First Maccabees chapter one. Oh, man, you got it. You got it? Go yeah, ahead, bring man. that out. Go ahead. First Spirit. Maccabees uh, 41. I, I got verse oh, yeah, 41. yeah. You, you can start up. You wanted to start yeah, up I'll go up higher. Go ahead. Go ahead. Verse 41. First Maccabees chapter one and verse 41. Yeah. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole mm. kingdom. One of the children of Satan. Go ahead. That Come on. all should be one people. This is the, uh, the king of the Greeks. Come on. And everyone should leave his laws. Uh huh. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. All the other nations agreed. All the heathens, the other nations agreed. Yes, we're going to leave uh, whatever we was following and we're going to assemble under what you got set yeah. up, you which did. is against God. Right. Come on. Yay. Many also of the Israelites consented to his religion. And you had mo mo uh, some of our wicked people uh, said, yes, we'll do it. Well, you will accept the white Jesus. We'll yep. accept uh, uh, that, that Catholic Pope. Same sex uh, same marriage. Sec, same Compressing sex marriage. What did Christmas. Um, Halloween. We'll accept it. Come on. Mm -hmm. And sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. You see that? Profaned the Sabbath. Yeah. Exactly what the Lord deemed holy. Guess what? They said, you know what? We'll take that Sunday. Yeah. That Sunday. We'll take it against God's holy Sabbath. Yeah, I like how they pulled that verse 43. It says that they consented to his religion. religion. Mm. That's the religion of mm -hmm. Satan. Right. You got key points. They consented to his way of life. Now jump back up to uh, verse one in that same chapter. Verse one. Because the Romans is, is, the, is Greeks and the Greeks are the Romans. Now look at this, read that. And it happened after that Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Chedon, had smitten Darius, king of the Persians and Medes, that he reigned in his stead the first over Greece. The first over Greece, mm -hmm. the first over Italy, the first over Rome. It's all the, it's the same people in the same area, right? Now jump up to uh, verse 7 and look what happened when the white man first came into power on the earth. Go ahead. Verse 7. So Alexander reigned 12 years and then died. Now, this is the thing. A lot of people don't know why he died. Mm. He died from syphilis. <laughs> there you go. Right. Alexander was a great warrior, mm. but he was a booty warrior. Yeah, there you go. Too. Yes. <laughs> he liked booty you, warrior. he wanted you, he took oh, it. Yeah. Jay -Lay, Jay -Lay. <laughs> he just took it. Dang. He got 12 years of rulership. <laughs> Because once he came into power as the first king over Greece, he got all the booty, boy booty he wanted, and he killed him. Yep. Test oh, for free his oh. ass. It wasn't out there. God damn it, get your ass. Hey. Hey. Pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pause. Read that again, verse 7. Verse 7. So Alexander reigned 12 years and then died. Uh huh. And his servants bear rule every one in his place. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them many years. And evils were multiplied in the earth. And evils go. were multiplied. Yeah. When these Greeks, when these Romans came into power, evils was multiplied. Where do you think a lot of the doctrine of there Christianity has came down yes. the water chute, the gutter? Mm -hmm. It has started from Roman Catholic Church right. and right. trickled its way that. on down. Right. The evils have been multiplied on the earth through the Pope. Bless you. Yeah. Same sex right. marriage. Remember Ro Roman Catholicism. Catholicism, mm -hmm. universal, all yeah. inclusive. Mm -hmm. We read that. We read that right here in chapter one, uh, forty-one, when that King mm -hmm. Antiochus tried to make the people one with mm -hmm. one religion. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Not so good. And, and so that's why it's going into. The Lord said he had to leave that remnant because we would have all been like Sodom. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. that going into what Cap said, you know, Catholic, that's what he's saying. It meant all inclusive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why they push sodomy on us. Yeah. They want us to be this. like them. Oh, yeah. No mm, doubt. Dude, come on now. They one people like, like you that. just one read. People. They all want us to be that way, yeah, man. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, now, now, that's not the only thing that um, the Catholics and the Pope, the religion of Satan and is known for they have put many evils we said the evils multiplied is many evils uh give me the bible dictionary we just talking about how through through christianity and, and the roman catholicism and it's trickled down through the black church some of the lies and the beliefs that black folk have it came from from them uh read the, the uh page 600 
where it's uh, highlighted. The Bible dictionary. Go ahead. Virgin. A young unmarried woman. A young unmarried woman is what virgin is. Now go to the next one. Continue That's reading. Right. A young woman of marriageable age. Of marriageable age. Go ahead. Whether married or not. Well, whether married or not. A virgin Correct. was considered a woman that was young and uh, ready to be married, even if she wasn't. They called her a young virgin, right? Now, uh, read that virgin birth. This formulation of faith, going back to the second century, is based upon two New Testament passages. So it says the second century, based upon the second century, it's a formulation of faith. Where did this formulation of faith mm. come from? Was the disciples teaching this? Let's see. Read that. Mary the, the Virgin. Distinctive Roman Catholic doctrine. Hold on. Read that at the top. What is it? Mary the Virgin. Uh-huh. Distinctive Roman Catholic doctrines about Mary. About who? Mary. About Mary. Mm. The Catholics, the Roman Catholic Church go. put that evil into the earth that Mary had never had sex right. with a man. Right. 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 Because it said a virgin. Mm. No, nah, that's not scriptural. That is a, it says distinctive, meaning what? That don't belong to nobody nope. else. They created that. Correct. The Muslims didn't make that up. The damn Confucius Chinese no. didn't make that up. Mm -hmm. The uh, Krishna East Indians didn't make that up. That came from the white man and the religion of Satan and tricked down throughout the earth. Hey, Cap, you can't listen to Satan kids. If they're going to tell you that you could, it's okay for you to lay in with a, another man in 2023. Yeah, yeah. And I know God, he's beyond time. He's yeah. beyond the ages. Yeah. He doesn't change. No, he he wrote it in his book for ages to come. Mm -hmm. Now you mean to tell me in 2023 is okay for you to lay with a man? That is according this. to the Pope. According to the Pope, yeah. <laughs> Shit, crazy part. Go ahead, officer. That, that Bible dictionary is found at a Christian bookstore. Yeah. Yeah. That's the crazy, That's the crazy thing yeah. about it. Yeah. So they know it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Go back to it. Let's read it, read it all the way through. Mary the Virgin. Distinctive Roman Catholic doctrines Distinctive about Mary. Distinctive Roman Catholic doctrine from the Pope that said he's going to bless gay marriages. Read Immaculate Conception in 1854. 1854. When you Negroes was in chains, the Pope over there... Satan told him, hey, man, before these niggas get out of slavery, <laughs> I need you to put out in the earth that Jesus don't have no father. Right. Why? Wait because it's going to come a time and point that the spirit of God is going to come on the earth and these Israelites are going to wake up and they are going to realize that they've been lied to mm. for centuries by you. Make sure you put that out there so it'll be a level of confusion that I can still have some of them come over here with right. me. There you go. Hey, can there I go. quote yeah. a script real quick? Uh, wait a minute. It says Immaculate Conception, 1854. Mm. Go ahead. An Assumption of Mary, 1950. 1950, man. This stuff's made up. Go ahead, uh, officer. Um, get Matthew chapter 7, verse 3, because a lot of Christians like to quote this scripture. Only God can judge me. Don't judge. Don't judge this. Right? Book of Tupac. <laughs> Matthew chapter 7 and verse 3. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Christianity is full of sin, there abomination. You go. There you go. But it quick to point at the Israelites and say, y'all doing stuff wrong. Y'all doing stuff wrong. No, y'all got to stop. We ain't out here blessing gay marriages. Hey, nope. I don't tell you that much. Hey, we ain't setting up women That's as lead right. heads of churches. Bring it out. Church, you can right. say whatever the hell you want to with us. We know a man belongs with a woman and a woman belongs with a man and ain't no confusion in right. that. Correct. Yep. At all. <laughs> um, go to our uh, um, second. Let me give me an article three. Give me that uh, article three that we got, man. This is some more religion of Satan at work, man. Trickle down from the... the uh, the pervs that are at the top of it. Uh, play that for the people, man. Look at this. Your spirit of prostitution. Leave this body now. Leave this body. Look at God. Look at this body. Look at this body. Look at this body. Look at this body. It's vow. Yeah. The religion of Satan is vow. 
Not, give me that in um give me that uh in Timothy. <laughs> Why right. over left? Hey, Y'all show me where, where Christ everybody. Christ or the disciples ever uh stood a woman up to clap her cheeks like that. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna know what verse or chapter. Hey, hey, right. this is that, right. that that right there is not what the disciples did when no. they laid hands on people. Right. Oh, that was right. not what they was doing. Nah. Nah, this is a show, man. They they, yeah, they, they lay show. hands up top, not below. My good, unbelievable man. Give me that oh, first Timothy no. chapter five. Oh, God, you, I want you to read verse. <laughs> what are you trying to two. do? Look how you're supposed to treat when you have the spirit of God upon you. How you're supposed to treat the women that are amongst you in the church. Read that. First Timothy chapter five and verse two. The elder women as mothers. You're supposed to treat the mm -hmm. elder women as mothers, like you would your mother. Read. The younger as sisters. The younger who? The younger as sisters. As sisters, read. With all purity. With what? With all purity. That wasn't purity no. that we just saw. No. Not at all. But the but what has Satan do? Give me that in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 6. The religion of Satan has done this to our people. It has has forgotten, it has made the people that was that are set up over these people in these uh uh death traps mm. to not treat the women like sisters, to honor the mothers treat them like mother elder woman as mothers they're doing this to them second timothy three verse six. Second timothy chapter three and verse six for of this sort are they which creep into houses they creep they into go. houses how do they do that let me pray for you y'all remember that on let me, um, let me lay do y'all remember that on clip yeah. on uh let's friday let's let's on the first friday when uh Bernie Mac. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bernie yeah. Mac was the pastor. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 he was. And he was trying to get a little on. twin, twin, twin. twin. Yeah. Ain't nothing going and on. And then Miss Parker came outside. Yeah. And what he turned around and said, Ooh, Miss Parker. Miss Parker, Ms. Parker can I pray inside. for you? Yeah. And what did he do? Mm. He creeped into the house. Yeah. 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 Do we got that clip, man, Miss Parker? Play it up, because that's literally what, the, man, the Bible's a true book, true man. Book. And they put it in front of now us. Now people know it, yeah. Our I people know that. I wonder if they learned that in semin seminary school. Yeah. Yeah. Lesson number one, how to give somebody the Holy Ghost. You oh, got to yeah. clap them cheeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Creep into the house. That's crazy. Uh, bring it up, man. Let's play it real quick. Why don't you just give them a little bit for my cataract? You didn't put yeah. in on this, man. man. Let's get a receipt, my brother. Look, 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 she bending over. Claude, have mercy. The Lord now, like, is my Look shepherd. how he walks he over. Me. Excuse me, brother. Look Ms. how he walks over. Miss Parker. I told you. you. Miss Parker. We Pippin. believe Pippin. no evil alert. Okay, so what, he crept over there into the houses of silly women. Second Timothy 3 and 6 again. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts. Led away with what? Diverse and lust. Diverse hey, lust. Hey, yeah. You know, see what 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 the religion of Satan also has done to our people. It has made our people forgot the true house of the Lord. Right. Yeah. Where the how what a house lies. If I get a script. Wait a minute. Wait a okay. minute. Uh, read verse five real quick. Yes, sir. Having a form of godliness. They got a form of godliness. But denying the power thereof, from such turn away. Another mm. another uh, uh, attribute of the religion of Satan is, is that you have to deny God. There you go. Mm. What did it say? Read that again. Yeah. Verse 5. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. You got to deny God yeah. in order to follow Satan. Give me, give me this yeah. in um, Jude real quick. And then we get your script. Jude. Give me that in Jude and uh, verse, read, read verse one on down, I believe it is. Bring it out, Cap. Mm. Jude, verse one. Yeah. Jude, the Bring servant of Jesus Christ, the brother of James, and brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. Read. Mercy unto you and peace uh, and love yeah. be multiplied. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith uh -huh. which was once delivered unto the saints. Now, here's the point. But there are certain men crept in unawares. Crept in mm. unawares. Who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Ungodly men. Ungodly men. Turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness. Into what? Lasciviousness. Uh -huh. And denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. What did they do? They did what? Deny? 
the only Lord God and our, our Lord Jesus Christ. They denied God. Damn. In order to follow Satan, you got to deny God. Now, pull up lascivious this real quick. Pull up a definition of a lascivious because our people don't know what that means. Read that for them. Definition of lascivious on the Merriam-Webster's Dictionary. Filled with or showing sexual desire. What do y'all think it is we saw in that video? There you go. That dude, yep. what you say he was doing, Cam? Sex, sexual. He's up clapping cheeks. Yeah. Sexual that feelings. sexual desire. Mm. There's some hoes in this house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but what type of sexual desire is it? Read those last two words. Lewd. It's lewd. Mm. Lustful. It's, Lustful. Now click on lewd. Let's see what lewd means. Because we don't never go to these words. Lewd. What's it? Obscene. Vulgar. Obscene and vulgar. Mm. Supposed to be in the house of God, and you around here filling on a woman's Come body. On now. Mm. The hell is and this? now one Christian church spoke against that. No. Yeah, and I bet his wife was there too, watching. Oh it. yeah, smiling, hey, hey, with her big hat on. I wonder how he explained that. I was just no, going to work for the Lord. No, I, I, later on I gotta go uh, lay some hands on her. But in order to get to that point, understand you gotta deny God. Yeah. Mm. You gotta follow Satan to do something vulgar like that to women in the church. So that's when you when you read about on a pastor sleeping with uh, uh, the women in the church and yeah. teenagers and all that, just know that they have denied God and they are following after Satan. And they are fell into their lust, their lasciviousness, uh, or their lascivious lust. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead, officer, you had a script. Yes, sir. He, uh, they denied God and now they're in the house of Satan. Watch this. Jeremiah 5, read verse 7. Jeremiah chapter 5 and read verse 7. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 5 and verse 7. How shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me. That's what God, that's mm. what God was bringing out. They have forsaken God. Go ahead. And sworn by them that are no gods. And they have followed Satan. There Satan go. is not a god. Go mm -hmm. ahead. When I had fed them to the full, and they then committed adultery. They committed adultery, just like we see our pastor. This, I mean, this pastor doing, right? All these pastors. Pastors are committing adultery. Go ahead. And assembled themselves by troops they in the assembled hall. Them, hold on. They assembled themselves by troops. Go ahead. Christianity is one of the biggest religions in the world. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. In the harlot's houses. And where? In the harlot's Damn. house. In Satan's house. There you That's go. what the hey. Christian church is. The whore house. Satan's house. Legit the whore house. Whore. houses. Whore. Give me that Jeremiah whore. 23 verse uh, 14. Jeremiah 23. I want to read verse 14. Then we'll jump up to uh, 16. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 14. When it comes to these pastors, lewd. Go ahead. I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem an horrible thing. They commit adultery. They, they, they uh, transgress the laws of marriage. They commit adultery. Go ahead. And walk in lies. They do what? Walk in lies. They walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers. That none doth return from his wickedness. That's the thing. That li the lies of Satan strengthens the hands of the wicked doers. Wicked. That's what they do. They strengthen the hands of the wicked doers that they do what? That none doth return from his wickedness. None return from his wickedness because they, the lies of Satan have been built up for so long. And it's so many layers of the lies of Satan that none do return from those lies. The only way that they return from it is when God send a prophet. Right. To tear down the walls of life, the mortar that has been built up from your grandfather, your grandmother, your auntie, your mother, uh, uh, social media. It takes a prophet of God to tear down that wall of uh, mortar of lies. That's right. Jump up to verse 16. Verse 16. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. Uh -huh. They speak a vision of their own heart. And not out of the mouth of the Lord. Read on. They say still unto them that despise me. That do what? That despise me. That despise him. That want uh, uh, blessings for the gay marriages. Want to uh, 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 lay hands on women's backsides. Uh, profane the Sabbath day. Go to church on Sunday. They despise God. Yeah. Go ahead. The Lord hath said, ye shall have peace. And they say unto everyone that walketh after the imagination of his own heart. No evil shall come upon you. They say mm. that themselves, but God has not said that. Now, give me that uh, that book that we got, uh, the handbook of Bible law, because it goes into detail. This is what the pastors that God has not called. They make this up on their own. Uh, what does it say? Uh, the, and they say unto everyone that walk in there, no evil shall come upon mm. you. How do they get to that point? 
the handbook of Bible law. Uh, go ahead. Let's look on the inside of that. Uh, let's start it from the top. Divine law is perpetual. When the laws, commandments, statutes, and judgments were re revealed by God through Moses, the intent was that they were always they to was be what? Always to be kept. Now, how does Christianity now get to the point saying the laws are done away there you with? Go. Satan is involved. Hey. Keep reading. And were to be observed forever. How long? <laughs> forever. How does Christianity now believe that when they read Colossians, is it Galatians 2.16? 2, 16. Mm -hmm. You're not under the works. You're not justified by the works of the Rome law. Romans 11. Satan is in the midst. Read on. Now watch this. This, this is where it gets yeah. good. Go ahead. A rather recent doctrine. A what? Recent doctrine. This is new on the earth. This is mm. a new thing. Mm. Go ahead. Which theologians and preachers have been espousing is that the laws laid down in the Old Testament were only a temporary arrangement and that the advent of Jesus Christ made them null and void. Man, this white man know what he's talking about, man. I'm going to tell you right now. He already he, knew. He, he was, was, hey, hey, he's the devil, but there a, a, you go. a clock is right two times a day. <laughs> 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 I'm going to tell you that right now. That was an old Judah proverb. Yeah, that's a Judah proverb right there, oh, right? Yeah. And another one is uh, even, a, uh, even a trash can get a steak. That's nah, another Judah proverb. I haven't heard that. Yeah, you're a millennial. Know you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> that's old school right there. Uh... <laughs> Uh, keep reading the day. <laughs> this false doctrine has a great appeal to the carnal nature. Hey, to the what? Ooh. The carnal nature. To Satan. Those that want to follow after Satan it has a great appeal. Right, right. That, that uh, what? That no evil shall come upon you. That we can follow after the imagination right. of our own heart. And Satan got past it to set up to appeal to the carnal nature yep. of everybody that want to follow him in the flesh. Damn. Damn. You know, watch proof of that cap. The whole world do not believe in God. But for some reason, <laughs> when the Pope goes somewhere, everybody's yeah. flocking mm -hmm. to him. Everybody crying. Mm -hmm. Every, the whole Good city point, flocks man. to him. Huh? Good point. And, and that great appeal goes into that uh, doctrine of if you sow a seed, yeah, yeah, you yeah. give a tithe. Yeah. Yeah. Money what doctrine. Yeah, there you go. Uh, money, 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 money. Uh, read that again, man. This what? This false doctrine has a great appeal to the carnal nature of man. As it relieves him of responsibility, allowing him to completely act according to his will. To his what? To his will, rather than the will of God. Mm. Mm. Man, that's good stuff right there. Go ahead. Yet when men act according to their will or carnal nature, committing adultery, theft, drunkenness, etc., these same preachers in their hypocrisy. In their what? In their hypocrisy. Is hypocrisy mm. do what? Start to preach against the sin they are committing. Oh Damn. my goodness, man! Whoo, this is good stuff right here. Wow. Satan said, "Involved, man. Go ahead." What is sin but the transgression of the law? What is Plain what? Sin but the transgression of the law. Uh huh. If one says there is no law that we are under, then they are saying there is no sin, and they make God a liar. They do what? Mm. Make Damn. God a liar. <laughs> now we know who from the jump. Wanted to make God a liar. Did right. God yeah. ever say this? Man, <laughs> where's it at, man? Where where did Christ say that? Get that for me in, in John. Get it for me in John, man. Yeah, after what? John, was it John 7? That, that, we going back to that, man. We going back to that, man. Y'all know where it is, man. John 7. Uh, da, 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 da. You and your father. Oh, oh uh, 738 or 638, uh, something yeah. like that. Eight. Something for oh, I'm in wrong thing. got an okay. eight in there. I know that. <laughs> uh, here we go. I don't know. Somebody read it. But, oh, sh I'm looking at the wrong thing again. Here we go. John, John chapter, chapter eight. 8, verse 44. Yes, sir. John okay, chapter 8, and verse 44. I thought he was right, right here. I'm looking, at <laughs> I'm looking right at it. Not even look at the numbers. Right. Go ahead. Ye are of your father, <laughs> the know. devil. The who? The devil. Uh -huh. And the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. Not in the mm. truth, in lies. Go ahead. Because there is no truth in him. It's what? Mm. There is no truth in him. Hey, man, pull back pull up that, that yep, book, man. It said it's no truth in Satan. Um, and when you follow after him, it's none in. Read that if one says. If one says there is no law that we are under, then they are saying there is no sin and they make God a liar. Now, let's read that script again. Stay, keep that up, 844. When he speaketh. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, 
For he is a liar and the father of it. He's a liar and the father of lies. Now, now let's 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 get one real quick. We we'll, you can drop that. We're gonna come back to it. Genesis chapter there three. There you go. He it Bring says it that it says he was a murderer from the beginning, a liar, liar. from the beginning. Je, uh, uh, Genesis chapter uh, we want three or is it two? <laughs> Genesis three. chapter three, three, and let's read verse one. Now we find out who that serpent was. It's Satan. It's a metaphor for Satan. Why? It's, mm. it's sly. It's subtle. It's conniving. Right. It's deceiving. Read that. Genesis chapter three and verse one. Yeah. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, yea, hath God said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Now, this is the crazy thing that Satan had quoted to her the correct thing yeah, yeah, yeah. that she should do. Mm. He's like, yeah, God is right. He's right. He should. Did he, did he tell you that? Keep reading. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Uh -huh. But of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, you shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it. Lest ye die. Touch it, lest ye die. Verse 4. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. There you go. Lies oh, from God. the beginning. Because mm. God already told him, if you mess, because she quoted to him. Yeah. God told us you was going to die. Satan lied and said, No, nah, you mm. won't. You'll be okay. Why, why did Satan tell her that you won't die? It's because you coming over here on my side. Yeah, right. You, know, you coming over he's, here. He's at work. Yeah. He's at work. Trying I got to, something for trying you to over here. Yeah. You ain't yep. gonna die now. Come on over here with me. Keep reading. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Now that's a lie. Why? Because Adam was already a god. Yeah. It wasn't meant for the woman to be a god ever. Mm. Satan that's lied right. from the beginning. He's the father of it. And all those in his religion, you'll follow your lust as well mm. and be out of order and disobedient yeah. to God. Mm. Right. Denying the truth. Man, I like that, man. Yeah. <laughs> go back. Uh, yeah, go ahead real quick. You know what gets me when Christians say that you don't have to keep the laws of God, but then again, they'll they'll wait off to have sex until marriage. Where did you get that instruction from? Take from the Bible. Take that means there's all back. types of confusion that's within there. Like you don't have to keep the laws of God, but you're keeping this law. Come on. Remember also the scriptures say, say the scriptures say. No, nah, no, nah, go ahead. The scripture said that good is set against evil. Right. Correct. And we know that this, in Romans, it said the law is good. So if we teach the laws, we are the one who's behaving good. Right. right. So if you teach the opposite, you're the evil side. Yeah. There right. you go. That's right. how it is. Yeah. That's it. Let me get a script. Yeah, go ahead. Kevin. Go to Proverbs uh, 17, uh, start at verse 14, and then jump down to 17. Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 14. This is part of uh, the religion of Satan right here. The dying, the dying part. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The beginning of strife is as when one letteth out water. Mm -hmm. Therefore leave off contention before it be meddled with. Dip 15, come on. Verse 15. He that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the just. Uh -huh. Even they both are abomination. Are what? Abomination. To the Lord. There yeah, you go. both an abomination. So go. that's part of denying it. Mm -hmm. So when you were on a on a road of uh sinning and doing the same things that Satan told you to do, uh instead of loving is lusting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That you are an abomination now. Jump up to verse 13. Verse 13. Verse 13. Mm -hmm. Whoso rewardeth evil for good. Rewardeth evil for good. You co-signing yeah. the evil. Now that evil is the good in your mm -hmm. mouth now. Come on. Evil shall not depart. Satan ain't going nowhere. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Satan Ooh, not going look. anywhere. Satan lit there now. Now he did. What did he say? He lit. He he lit there. <laughs> he lit there now. He post, post up. up. He post Never, up. Leave. Never leave. Never leave. Never leave, bro. You lit there. You lit there now. <laughs> Go back to that uh, book, man. Go get some clothes. You Go back to that book. Uh, it, let's let's read that bottom part. If it can be taught that there is no perpetual law of God we are bound to, then all concepts of right and wrong will be arbitrarily made up by some man. Made up by who? Mm. Some man. Satan. <laughs> Damn. That's who it's going to be made up by. Right, what's right and what's wrong will be made up by some man. Hey, uh, hey, wait, you know the crazy thing about it, like how you just brought up, well, uh, majority of the times when we ask Christians, who put that white image of Christ up there? They be like, man, I don't know. I don't let believe in that. Let me tell you something. I don't believe in that. He could be brown. Could yeah. be brown. 
that's who they did that. That yeah. Satan. Yep. Satan has put that image up there yeah. and have deceived you, and you don't want to admit it. Right. Oh, exactly right. This? And now go to that next video of what, and remember it says that it strengthens the hand of wicked doers, right? That none doth return. This is becoming more and more common amongst our people in Israel. Play the video for the people, man. And then I start thinking about it as the prayer thing. I'm like, they steady saying, like, he ain't supposed to talk back to you and all, 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 all. And I start realizing, bro, I'm just guiding myself. And it's like having these things around me, I start realizing, bro, when I'm praying, I'm talking to myself. He's so I'm like, <laughs> am I God? I'm like, if I'm technically a kid, I'm, I'm my father for sure. I'm watching my face turn into my father a little more oh, every day man. as I get older. I'm, so like, I'm like, gee, I'm talking to myself. So I gave up that religion part and I'm just more spiritual. Our uh, giving praises to our ancestors was not worshiping our ancestors. A, a person of higher elevation in science does not worship something that they know they already are. They connect with it and they form certain rituals that represent the dynamics of that which was the becoming of themselves. That's idolatry. What, there you yeah, go. That's idolatry. That's where the that ashe mm. come from with Dr. Straight Umar. Straight idolatry. Look wow. at I'm become, I see, oh, and, it, and this is the thing about Satan, it, it, it has to be, his religion has to be confusion. Yes. Mm. I see my face turning into my father's face, so am I God? Hats way. I gave up the <laughs> prayer and religion. You ain't got the answers. I heard my voice. He, when he came up, I heard my, I'm talking to myself. Yeah. So that's what happens what? when you talk what? to yourself and you mix it up. <laughs> so, hey, hey, man, Eric said that's the weed talking. Yeah, yeah bro. Weed. Weed. That's 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 the weed. Mind. Weed. Yeah. The weed alone. <laughs> and that's the thing about Satan. He has many traps. Yeah. Many landmines are set, set up. Okay. Yep. You read that in Galatians. There's many snares and hooks of yep. Satan. It's not just one. That road is wide. It's a, it's a, a wide road, right? What did it read it in? Um, wide is the gate. There we go. Get that for me. Is it Luke yeah. or Matthew that says that? Give hey, me that. see that video over there, man? We got to play that one. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> we, this is, we, we'll get it after what you put, man. It's man. Christianity, man. That's the It's weed, a wide man. road. So they'll escape. Sometimes they'll escape Christianity, but then next thing they'll, they'll follow uh, 5% spiritualism. of spiritualism, consciousness. Yeah. Okay. That's just another trap. Because yep. you already created, your, your vessel that you, you, you are in right now was created to give God the glory That's through it. your obedience That's of the right. commandments. So when you're not fo following that, that straight line, guess what? Satan got you. You think you deep, but Satan got you. You got, you got that scripture for me? Yes, sir. Get that for The me. book of Matthew, chapter Matthew. 7 and verse 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate. The straight gate, straight commandments, direct commandments. Come on. For wide is the gate. Who? And Go ahead. And, and broad is the way. And broad is the way. It's wide. It's all over the place. It's confusion. Right? Come on. That leadeth to destruction. It leads you to destruction, death. You, your own God. Dummy, you're going to die. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, pull that video up that was just posted there. And this is how they strengthen the hands of evildoers um, that they do not return Cause they, it's a show, man, and they get you caught up in this damn show, and you think it's God blessing you, but it's actually Satan mm. pissing on you. Damn. damn. Watch this. Play it. To be a glow of glory in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch right now. Lord, heal right now. Lord, restore right now. Oh, all that cooking oil. Oh, boy. He got a lawsuit waiting. Somebody <laughs> slip and fall and bust their head. They got a long suit. Play it again for them. You about to cook somebody. Let me up for a glory in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch right now. Lord, heal right now. Lord, restore right now. That is Satan, y'all. Wow, That's man. Satan. Stop it. You cut, man. Yeah, Give me man. that in Sirach chapter 10. He hey, about to fry hey, some hey, verse chicken, 12. Man. Oh, hey, man. Yeah. He about to fry some chicken. Yeah. yeah. The hand that you do when you about to fry the chicken. Yeah. You know. Look at it. Hey, you know he was saying, look at the wrist. Look at the wrist. That's what he was doing. Look at the wrist. Y'all yeah. know what he was saying. He was saying, look at the wrist. Go ahead, man. Wait a minute. Crazy.
It's Rock 10 verse 12. He said he's trying to marinate the brother. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, man. It's Rock chapter 10 and verse 12. Yeah. The beginning of pride is when one departeth from God. I, I, why pray anymore? I hear myself talking in my head. That's the beginning of pride. That's what Satan wants you to do. Be full of pride and then depart from God. Read. And his heart is turned away from his maker. Uh -huh. For pride is the beginning of sin. And he that hath it shall pour out abomination. The abomination is what we just heard out of that man's mouth. An abomination. Man, I see my face turning into my father's. And my God, I hear myself. So I stopped praying. praying. I stopped praying. It became more religious. I left the, I left, I came more spiritual, spiritual, left the religious alone. He pouring out abominations out of his mouth. Ha, Read. Sway, that, Take a that few that steps was back. Dumb as hell. And therefore, the Lord brought up upon them strange calamities and overthrew them yeah. utterly. Now, y'all know what's going on with their brother right there? The strange calamities where he's been overthrown? Him and his wife about to get divorced. Damn. God ain't what playing with y'all. God ain't playing yeah. with y'all, babe. Yep, yep, yep. He ain't playing. Grand opening. He grand passing closes. judgment left and right. Yeah. That man right there about to get divorced. Him and his wife is separated. Yeah, yeah. He ain't playing, man. Give me that in Deuteronomy chapter 8. I'm God. Deuteronomy chapter 8. Satan wants you to be full of pride so you can depart from God. Deuteronomy 8 verse 10 on down. Let's read quick. Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 10. When thou hast eaten and art full, then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the good land which he hath given thee. Uh huh. When you eat and full, when you got your money right, go ahead. Beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God. Don't there do what? Go. Forget not the Lord thy God. Satan wants you to be full of pride and depart from God so that you forget him. Go ahead. In not keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Read on. Lest when thou hast eaten and art full and hast built goodly houses and dwelt therein. You got your money right again, right? Yep. Your bank account's fat. You got a mansion. Go ahead. And when thy herds and thy flocks multiply and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied. You got the chains mm. on, the rings and all of that stuff. Go ahead. And all that thou hast is multiplied. You got plenty of cars. Go ahead. Then thine heart be lifted up, and thou forget the Lord thy God, which brought thee forth the out pride. of the... Now, here's the thing. Mm. Wait, go ahead. You call it again. <laughs> That's the pride. Yep. Read that again, verse 14. Then thine heart be lifted up. Pride. Mm. You begin to get all of these blessings from God. You eating good. You got the yep. houses. You you got you got gold and silver, and then the Satan is, is like... I got him right where I want him. Let me swoop in with pride. Read that again, verse 14. Then thine heart be lifted up, and thou forget the Lord thy God, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Now jump down to verse 17. And thou say in thine heart, my power and the might of mine hand have gotten me this wealth. I'm God. Why am I praying? I can hear, I hear myself talking, so I must be God. Right. Wait. What? <laughs> Keep reading. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. Now, mm. what does Satan try to do? What is, do, do we got to do, this is why you gotta, we got to study to show ourselves <laughs> yeah, approved. Yeah. That's it says, right. Remember, it's me that gave you the power to get this wealth. Can I get Luke chapter 4? Yeah, mm -hmm. Bring it out. Yeah. What does Satan do? Luke chapter 4. God said, don't forget me. I gave you that power to get that wealth. Luke chapter right. 4, verse 6. Luke chapter 4 and verse 6. Because remember, you the only way that that you would get to this point is that now you're full of pride and you have forgotten God. You separated from God and start to say it was me. But that wasn't your own thought that told you that. Read that, the verse 6. This? And the devil said unto him, All this power, all this what? This power will I give thee. So when you say to yourself, I got this wealth, that ain't you talking. Mm -hmm. That's Satan that got you a part of his religion. Mm -hmm. Satan done entered into your soul. Right. Satan done made you full of pride and right. separated from God. That ain't you talking. That's Satan and you doing that. Read that again. Verse 6. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them. For that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will, I give Read it. Read verse 7. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. Now check this out. This is now remember we just read in Genesis 3 where it says Satan was the subtlest of all beasts, right? Go. The serpent is what mm -hmm, it called mm -hmm. it, right? So how is Satan uh, uh, so subtle today that where you don't know you worship is Satan? 
I'm God. I hear myself talk here. Why should I be praying anymore? That is, that is, thou will worship me, all shall be thine. Satan make you think that you God upon right. the earth, and then you start worshiping him indirectly. And Satan's like, man, this is easy right. down here, <laughs> especially with these niggas, because God already told them that they was gods in Psalm 82. Right. Right. And all that time right. up there in New York, yo, what's up, God? What's up, son? What's up, God? Yo, God says, you hear square. that all the time. But right. you ain't got no spiritual understanding to what, what God really mean when he says you are gods upon mm. the earth. Therefore, you do what? You depart from God. Yeah, yeah. Because, because the gods with the lowercase g, which is us, right. we understand that our power only comes from the most high God. There you go. Correct! That's the thing that makes you godly. There you go. You do the God, God written things in the scriptures. That, that's what makes you a God. Give me this in Ecclesiastes. Watch this. This is how we are not the, that we ain't God, most high God, where we can separate from mm -hmm. him and then do our own thing and say, my power gave right. me this. Watch this. Give me that in Ecclesiastes chapter eight. And I want you to read verse eight. Watch this. Ecclesiastes chapter eight and verse eight. So for yeah. anybody to say, I'm God, my power, that got me this wealth. That's Satan that has set up in your mind. Yeah. Verse eight, read it. There is no man that hath power over the spirit to retain the spirit. Hold on, wait a minute. You God, though. <laughs> I'm God. I hear myself talking. Right. Why should I pray? God told you, man, when the deaf, when the, a deaf angel come and, your, and, and it's your day, your month, your year, your time, mm -hmm. it ain't nothing you can do, buddy. Mm -hmm. You coming to meet me. Read on. Neither hath he power in the day of death. Mm -hmm. And there was no discharge in that war. That means that you ain't getting out of that right. war of right. death. You mm -hmm. going through that, buddy. You're not getting an honorable discharge. You ain't, uh, who was that in the script that, that was translated? Uh, Methuselah, Methuselah in the script. Enoch, 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 Enoch and Enoch, Elijah. Elijah, Ezra. You ain't, you ain't that, buddy. You going through this. <laughs> Go ahead. Neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it. That's how you know that you ain't, you ain't the most high God. Right. You, you depend upon him because when it, when you have no power over your spirit to, to, uh, prolonged death. Right. You need God to live upon the earth, man. Uh, now let me see. Give me that uh, article. I think I got another article, right? Article. Uh, now check this out. This is, this is right here. Okay, read that. Article. I mean, Article Six. Go ahead. Play that. It's a video. We about to transition. Godless sodomite. Kneel before your God, Babylon. Making me Drop the it. highest paid megalomaniacal boy king in all of Babylon. You see, if you go and visit the very home of the Oscars, where they hold it each year, you can see a plaque on the wall that says the Babylonian court. The camera shows you the stage and you see an unmistakable Tower of Babel embedded into the design. Outside of the Kodak Theater, I didn't you know have all the this stuff gates existed. to Ishtar, and you have Babylonian gods put on the outside of the gate. They have the exact elephants. They have the same exact gate of Ishtar. They have the same exact Babylonian gods over the top of the gates. A lot of people come up here and they thank Jesus for this award. I want you to know that no one had less to do with this award than Jesus. <laughs> I'm thankful to the Oscar Divine gods. God. The other names of the gentlemen are all gods as far as a, as far as a category is concerned. When you get this little golden statue, you become a star. In the Egyptian culture, they also had a little statue that represented the god Ptah. Look at that. And see, when an Egyptian king died, it was believed that his spirit went into the belt of Orion, and he then became a star. Up until 1999, the Oscars was held at a building called The Shrine, which was founded by William Florence and Walter Fleming, two high-ranking Scottish Rite Freemasons. Mm. Hollywood has long been interested in Freemasonry. Gene Autry, John Wayne, Nat King Cole, Duke Ellington, C.C. DeMille, Clark Gable, Walt Disney, Oliver Hardy, you name it, the list goes on. Many celebrities have come out and admitted their connection to Freemasonry. You can see the checkered floor, you can see the archways, you can see the sun motif in the background. All of these are letting you know exactly who owns this organization. Damn. Now check this out. The thing about this is that we just read in Luke 4, 
if you worship me, all this power, all shall be thine. Right. Now, here's the thing you got to ask yourself. Who controls the media? Mm. Satan's Jewish kids. Dude. Right. Pull up the uh, image, man. Bring it out. Satan's Jewish kids run the media. Read that for him, uh, officer. From at Tom Anderson, 9944. The Jewish media controls your mind. Yeah, and look at all the corporations that they got. Comcast, Viacom, Time Warner, CNN, Facebook, mm -hmm. YouTube, MySpace, Yahoo, Google, U.S. News, Fox News, Sony Pictures. Satan's kids, Jewish kids, run the media. Give me the other uh, image uh, um, that we put up there, too. Because they know what this place is. They have set this place up to be Babylon so that they can worship Satan here. Pull it up, man. Is it two of the them or did I pull the other one? What, this one right? cap. This yeah, is, yeah, this the is media. One, this Go is ahead. one thing that we're seeing, right? We're seeing actual religious practices being taken place with the stars. That's what you see with the Oscars, right? And all of that, that's that goes into their religion. That that means when you do something that's noteworthy when it comes to you serving Satan, you get a star. Yep, there and you go. And when you get that star, you get we all see the religious ceremony that gets to take that, place. The, the mm. idolatry. The idolatry. The worship. The worship of, of man. It. And yep. then you die. Yep. And then you fully serve Satan. Pull up that other image real quick. Look at that. The media is Jewish. Mm. That's why it's called it's a Satan yep. of religion and his Jewish, uh, the religion of Satan and his Jewish kids. They run the media. They set all of that yeah. up, that idol worship, beggar bringing Babylon here in Hollywood. He push all his agendas. Yep. Right. Now, now that, you can't um, even open this uh, TV screen. All types of lasciviousness there you go. on the screen. So that, that means they, they pushing it. Uh, yep. Man on man, woman on woman. Take a lane, take a lane. There you go. Gender fluid kids. Yes. That's coming. They are okay in that to be pushed out yes. on TV. So, so Cap, that's what Christ was talking about about Satan and his mouth that spews out the flood yeah. Yeah, and the, 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 the frog. Go. That's what it's going to um, do. Give me meeting. that. Give me that in Exodus twenty. Exodus twenty. Let's read one through uh, five. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 1. Yeah. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. Now check this out. This is how this is how subtle Satan is in his religion. Um, it says when it says, "Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, anything that is in the heaven above." Um, what was you just talking about that they put, um, or, or as that they put in Hollywood when you be, you reach a certain level? The star. They put a star, yeah. right? What's in yeah. the heavens above? Stars. Stars. <laughs> what do they do when they get uh, put get their name put on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Right. What do people go through they and bow, do? They bow down and kiss. There you go. Mm. They bow down to it. Yeah. Damn. When they first get their name, they all bow down to it, take Your a picture knees. with it, stretch out beside yeah. it, all of that. That is idolatry. It's another God. Yeah. Satan is so subtle to make you think this is just entertainment. Right. Hey, yep. hey, right. You said something. you said when they get their name, who's giving them their name? Mm, good point. Satan. Satan. <laughs> if you bow Satan down and worship me, all shall be thine. There you go. Damn, that's crazy right there. Ezekiel 14. Let's read verse 1 through 4. Ezekiel chapter 14 and verse 1. Man, this, damn, this Satan is, is subtle, man. Mm -hmm. Him and his kids, Jewish kids. Go ahead. Then came certain of the elders of Israel unto me and sat before me. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, these men have set up their idols in their hearts. And it's, and it's become what? And put the stumbling block of their iniquity before their face. Now, check this out. How does that apply with uh, uh, his uh, uh, Jewish kids' media? How mm -hmm. does that, and you was talking about Revelation's mouth of his media. How does that apply that it's a stumbling block of iniquity? 
What are they asking black men to do in Hollywood to become famous? Always dress, dress up. Some women. Yeah, there dress. you go. Medea. Dress like a woman. Yeah. Play a um, sodomite, sodomite role. 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 Yep. Kiss a man. Kiss a woman. You got to play a gay role. Or it might not even be that to that extent. Um, we want you to uh, have a sex scene. Mm hmm Things of that nature. We want you to kiss a woman here. Right. These are, our, and what do we do to get to that level, to be in a movie, to be an actor, to be known, to get mm -hmm. our, our movies in the theater? We put that idol in our heart and do whatever we got to, to do, to get to that level. Even before you get to the screen, in Hollywood, it's a whole lot of stuff happening mm -hmm. at the mansion parties. Yeah. Prime uh, orgies and all of it. Prime example is Terry Crews. He walked into a party. Uh, Somebody yeah. felt the uh, him. What was that dude's name? He's in prison now. Yeah. Harvey Weinstein. Wein is that, was is he Harvey? dead? Is that Harry Weinstein? Yeah. Harvey. Harvey. Is it yeah. Harvey yeah. Weinstein? Yeah. Weinstein? Yeah. He grabbed yeah. his rack. <laughs> Gra he <laughs> grabbed <laughs> Terry's <laughs> rack. He froze up. He He's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You got a white, a grown white man, a damn caveman <laughs> grabbing know, your rack. He didn't know what to do because he had put the idol there in his go. heart. And to react in the way that a man should, it would have been a stumbling block for him where he wouldn't have got where he wanted to attain. These idols are stumbling blocks in our heart to their iniquity before their face. Read on. Should I be inquired of at all by them? Uh-huh. Therefore speak unto them and say unto them. Thus saith the Lord God, every man of the house of Israel that setteth up his idols in his heart and putteth the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face and cometh to the prophet. I, the Lord, will answer him that cometh according to the multitude of his idols. That means judgment's coming for you, mm. right? So we understand who controls the media is, is Satan's Jewish kids. Um, give me that article uh, seven. It's another image, I believe it is. is it, no, that's the image. Okay, now what I want is... The video. Watch this. We're about to do some hell of some exposing right now, buddy. Play that video. What makes somebody Jewish? Yeah. Drop that, man. And bro, that's a deep question. Wow, what a question. <laughs> You're Jewish? Yeah. What makes you Jewish? I think it's a, the collective memory that provides us and it's the glue of our people. Um, is your mother Jewish? Okay. Yeah. If your mother's Jewish, then halakhically you're a Jew. I think uh, maybe you might believe. There's a, a legal understanding. There's kind of a, a common understanding. There's a genetic understanding. Depends. If you're if you're Hitler, you, you've got one definition of it. And if you're the rabbinate of the state of Israel, you have a different understanding of it. Just born from Jewish parents. He's feeling. If he feels Jewish, he's feeling. Jewish. Like a Chinese person feels Jewish, then they're Jewish. You can be Jewish if you make all the rules of the Bible. Ah, okay. So Not what the rabbis say, what the Bible say. You mean the Tanakh? Yes. Bottom line is, an awful lot of it has to do with who puts their lot in together with the Jewish people. Oh, well, I mean, Jewish values, brother, that's like something that's only like in, uh, in the Jewish community. You know, it's it's a love for the country, it's a love for the people, it's it's a love for life itself. So if I would say I love people, I love family, I honor my father and mother, and I love Israel, would that make me a Jew? Well, if you're being like strictly, then it has to go after the, like the mother. That's what makes you Jewish. Your mother's a Jewish. There you go. Where does it say that in the Bible? Where? If your mother now check this, you heard mm -hmm. him say that's one dude that said it. This is mm -hmm. Satan's kids right here. Mm -hmm. If your mother is now, I want you to jump to one twenty nine in the same video. We do some, we exposing the hell out of Bring Satan's kids today, buddy, and his religion. Jump to one twenty nine and let it play. All my life, and I'm not Jewish, so. And and are your parents Jewish? Kids. My mother is not Jewish. Yeah. My father is. Did you know that in the Bible it was the father? Yeah. Yeah. So you're technically Jewish. All right. Really? Biblically. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, but these days I'm not. No, okay. According to the religious. Yeah. Okay. But according to your ethnicity, then you would be Jewish. Pause what? it. Boom. <laughs> Lying ass people, man. They, they knew. They always knew that. They always knew it. Check this out, y'all. Look at this. This pay attention to Satan, man. Yeah, yeah. They know, they've read that any man that changes the words, the, give me that, Ray, Revelation. Yeah, yep. Watch this in Revelation. Yeah. 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 Revelation 22, they know this. They ain't stupid, they know this. Revelation 22, verse 18, 19. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. 
If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Read. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, Ooh. God shall take away his part out of the book of life Fact. and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. So their names aren't written in the book already to go into the holy right, city, but right. they don't know that. Satan has deceived them to believe that, right? So they know that we can't change Numbers 1 and 18. Now go to Numbers 1 and 18 because he said, religiously, it's your mother, but the word of God is your father. So they didn't change that, right? Numbers 1 and 18. Numbers chapter 1 and verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families. By the house of their fathers. Of their who? Their fathers. Of their fathers, not their mothers. So they fear God enough to not change the Torah, right? They don't change that. But what did they do? They made up a man-made religion called what? This? Judaism. Okay. And they Woo. say now it's of your mother, but biblically it's of your father. We're going to push the lie through Satan to the whole world mm. that if your mother is Jewish, then you're a Jew. Right. But when you get down to it, really, the nitty gritty, it's actually your father. Mm -hmm. We've got to make up a way for us to be accepted as the people of God mm -hmm. because biblically we not. Um, go back to that video. Now watch this. It get worse. Go back to say it. somebody grows up, we'll just say for to keep it easier, atheist in the from the former Soviet Union. But all his life, you know, his pat line five on the passport, Jewish, everything's every you know, he's no one's let him forget it. He doesn't know anything, he's not even technically Jewish because his mother's mother wasn't Jewish or something like that. Listen to this. He comes here, he puts on a Tsahal uniform. He might even die for his country. I'm not going to go tell his family, well, yeah, but he's, he's not really Jewish. If it's he okay, fights, but let me ask you if he fights for military. us, he could be, a, he could be Jewish. Right. If the nigga comes from another country and dies for us, we'll make him honorary Jewish. <laughs> go ahead. Let it play out. An Iron Dome. I've been to two wars. Okay. Put my life in risk, and today I stand here and I okay. believe in Jesus. Okay. Would you consider me as a Jew? I uh, I don't know anything else about you, but I okay, so but I don't think you. I don't think that you um uh, uh I don't know that's uh, would you be a Jew and believe in Jesus? Probably not, be and uh, it, it's this is something that ha that is you know widely widely considered. It's not just agnosticism; Listen. it's something antithetical considered antithetical to to Judaism. Look, I'm not I'm not going to try to to It's antithetical tell anybody. to the rabbinic Judaism, but not for us as Jews that believe that he fulfilled the prophecies through the Old Testament. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Cuz the first believers in Jesus who have been they in, were, in Israel, you know what? they've been Jewish. Except very few of them actually in Israel were, which is why Christianity didn't spread in Israel. It spread through the Roman Empire. Mm. So, wow. It Damn. So Damn. To stop. It, it, it Christianity spread through the oh, Satan that? and the white man and his children. He just said, he just said Satan that. spread through Christianity. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Satan spread through Christianity. You right? know. <laughs> he was trying to figure out yeah. what's the best way to give him the slide, but he said, you know what? I'm just going to reveal let's the just, truth. Yeah, let's yeah. just throw this out there. Go ahead. Keep letting it play, man. Didn't catch on very well here. A handful of followers. I believe that this is a fulfilled prophecies throughout the Testament. Okay. That it says that the Messiah needs to be a light to the nations. Yes. So this is Jesus, who is the biggest and famous Jew in the whole world. And on top of that, it says that the Jewish nation has a veil on them that are not seeing who the Messiah okay. is. And I see this really come to life through Jesus. There's, uh, look, if you want to say that the general message of Judaism to the world it's, uh, if you boil it down, let's say into ethical monotheism. There is one God and there are universal. Do you know the Hebrew word for one? Echad. Yeah. Do you know the difference between Echad and Skip a little forward through this damn Yiddish. Yeah. If that Jesus keep going. Oh, Christ, right there. God. <laughs> so can, do you think that someone can believe in Jesus if they're Jewish and still be considered Jewish? Uh, say, I mean, same thing. Yeah, I don't. 
uh, I'm not really an authority to speak on yeah. whether how religious you are, or if you're correct or incorrect. Sure. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not wise enough to give you those answers, but, but as long as your mother is Jewish, then you are technically Jewish, or if you have a proper conversion. Stop. I mean, cut it. We see Satan's children lying. There you go. Read Numbers 1 and 18 again. Mm -hmm. It's it not up. if your Look mother it. is Jewish. Where, where did that come from? They don't even carry the seed. There you go. They have been trained way. well by Satan. Remember what yes. it says in Thessalonians. It says he opposes God. He yep. does everything opposite. Man, I, good yeah. point. Go ahead. Read that. Um, what I call Numbers 118. Numbers chapter 1 and verse 18. Bring it up. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from 20 years old and upward by their poles. It's by your father. It's not by your mother. They are them Jewish kids of Satan are liars. Go to the book now. Give me the book. Chosen people, Cauc Caucus Mountain. Let's put another dagger in on Go ahead. The essential point is that these Ashkenazim, the Jewry of Eastern Europe and the prime victims of Hitler's Holocaust. Yeah, they mentioned that. Go ahead. Were descendants of Khazar tribes people. Uh huh. They were converts to Judaism. They was what? Converts to Judaism. Read on. They have no historical. They have no historical or genetic or connection. What? Genetic connection. Or genetic connection bloodline with the biblical Jews of Palestine at all. A little bit. Damn. With no genetic connection. With the biblical Jews of Palestine at all. At all. They are not the people of the book. That's why they go around telling people it's your mother. Look at it. If your mother's Jewish, it's you Jewish because they have no genetic connection. Keep reading. Read that again. And this was known among themselves and among the more astute Jewish and non-Jewish historians and linguists. From at least 1700 AD, it was a well-known, if disguised and ignored fact of Jewish life from 1850 onward. Read up this, the square uh, part. Go ahead. Most of what we Gentiles in North America consider to be Jewish, and most of what even the Ashkenazim immigrants into North America consider to be Jewish is not Jewish at all. Is Damn. what? Not Jewish at all. Uh-huh. The Hasidic sidelocks, the skullcap yarmulke, the rabbi's fur-trimmed hats and captains, gefilte fish. None of that is Jewish. None of it. What? Is Jewish. Abraham didn't walk around with that on his head. Damn. Ezekiel didn't have that stuff on it. Pull up the damn Bring picture. It down. Bring it out. Jeremiah didn't have it on no. his damn head. No. Christ didn't walk around. Peter didn't have his shit on his head. No. Didn't walk around looking like clowns. Come on. So, so Cap, there's not one painting that we can find. Not of uh, any of the prophets. Not near no. not near nutter. Wanna wear none of that yeah, stuff. Nutter. Pull them up, man. Pull them down. What are you doing, man? You got me over here like Bush. Why you wait though? Pull the pictures. You forgot to mention something that none of none of the former prophets had too. What? Dandruff That's on the right. shoulders. Dandruff on the shoulders, you're right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, man. Yes, man. Them's not the people of Stop. God. Stop. That Stop. is not of the oh, ancestors. Man. Abraham, wait, 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 Isaac, what? Jacob, you name it. None of the people of the book walked around with a damn top hat on. Oh, Identity man. theft. That's Jewish fables. All that is Jewish fables. That, that's Jewish fables. I want to know what scripture is that hat. That's right. A, that, that's the same people that said Serra that you got to say it like they said. Serra was <laughs> what white. The hell that? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that. yeah, that's what they said. Serra was yeah, white. Yeah, Hey, go they back to that it. paragraph, man, and read it again. Read it. that again. I'm sorry. Read yo. that again. Most of what we Gentiles in North America consider to be Jewish, and most of what even the Ashkenazim immigrants into North America consider to be Jewish is not Jewish at all. Uh-huh. The Hasidic side locks, the skullcap yarmulke. We just saw that. The rabbi's fur-trimmed hats and kaftans, gefilte fish. None of that is Jewish. None of it. None of our ancestors. He's going to say it. Keep going. Not in the sense that it originated from the people of Abraham in ancient Palestine. None of the Israelites had that on. Go ahead. It is all Khazar. Russian. Go ahead. It reflects traditions of steppe tribesmen who never had anything to do with biblical Hebrews or Judaism. Mm. That's they books, y'all. That's they books. That's they books. Yeah. Exposes Satan's Jewish kid. That's they books. Yeah. We didn't make that stuff up, y'all. Give me that Ezekiel 35 verse 10. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. In the name of the book that... Uh, that that shows um, that the Jew, the fake Jews came up with this whole theory. Your mother must be uh, Jewish, and that makes you Jewish. It's called the Helkiah, 
her cot. Yeah, yeah, that's the name of the book. Okay. They made that stuff up. They made it up, y'all. That's all man made. It's not in the uh, Torah. It's not in the uh, Bible text. The words of the prophets, you won't find Satan, it. Satan published Satan that. published Damn. it. Satan published hey. that. Straight up. Yeah. Go ahead. Read that. Knock. Ezekiel 35 and 10. Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 10. <laughs> because thou hast said, these two nations and these two countries shall be mine. That's Israel and that is America. That's where the 12 tribes were scattered, where we lived at, southern kingdom, northern kingdom. Go ahead. And we will possess it, whereas the Lord was there. That we are the people of God. Mm -hmm. That's We're going to possess it like we're the people of God. Now jump over to Ezekiel 36 and read verse 5. Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 5. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, surely in the fire of my jealousy, have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia, which have appointed my land mm -hmm. into their possession mm -hmm. with the joy of all their heart, with despiteful mind. Despiteful mind is that, yeah, if your mother's Jewish, then you're Jewish. Right. That's a despiteful mind. Why? Why is it despiteful? Because they know what the Torah says, yes. that it's your father. It's by the seed of your father. But they despised that mm -hmm. and said, we are going to be the people of God regardless. Make it up. It's your mother there down. You go. What the hell is this? That's despising God. Read on. To cast it out for a prey. To cast it out for a prey. Now, give me that. Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. Because we're talking about the religion of Satan and his Jewish kids. Mm. 2 and 9. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. We are rich. We might not look like nothing now. We might be in poverty and we, we might be working for the man and mm -hmm. oppressed and looking over our shoulder and can't wait for the clock to strike where we can get off. But we are uh, eternally rich. The whole world is ours. And we're going to have That's that thing right. back because God is not a liar. He's not a man that he should lie. Read. Correct. And I know the blasphemy of them. Which oh, the blasphemy, the outright lies to put a stain on God's name, to not honor or reverence him. For those people to call themselves the people of God mm -hmm. is not honoring God because he didn't make nothing to look like that. His chosen people. <laughs> He didn't make nothing look like that, chosen people. No way. Oh, no, no way. No way. He said he's the author of beauty. There you go. That ain't the author nah, of beauty, man. Nah. <laughs> ain't no way. Ain't no way. Shell this lobster. Boy, ain't no way. That ain't it. Uh, read that again, man. I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. Who are they, though? But are the synagogue of Satan. They his kids. They are his kids. Look Thus saith the black Messiah, mm. Jesus the Christ. Those That's is right? his kids. Yeah. And look, it's a blasphemy. That's an insult yeah. for them to do that. They yeah, yeah. outright insulted God by naming themselves the, mm. the children of God. Look at it. Uh, three and nine. Revelation chapter three and verse nine. Yep. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. I will make the mm. children of Satan. And his religion and all those that follow after of it. Read. Which say they are Jews and are not. And are not. The history books prove it. The scriptures prove that they not. Hell, they said it out of their own mouth. Right. That it's your mother, not your father. That's proof that they are not the Jews that the Bible speaks of. Read on. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. Before the real Israelites that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Whose That's fathers right. are Israelites. Mm. Read. And to know that I have loved thee. Although we on the bottom, they gonna know that God loved us from the jump. And that this ass whooping that we getting right now was just a moment in time of them ruling. That's Correct. it. We going right back to where we belong. That's, right. That's on right. top. <laughs> Right? You had, you, had, you had something? Yeah, that was the blasphemy. That yeah, go ahead. Bring it out. Get that in Psalms 50, reverse 16. Bring it out. Yeah, that's it right there. That's the uh, blasphemy that Cap brought out in Revelations. Psalms chapter 15, verse 16. Bring it out. But unto the wicked, God saith, mm. 
what hast thou to do to declare my statutes? There you go. Uh -huh. Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? I said, how dare you? There you go. <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> you do that? Yeah. Tell everybody, you my people. Uh, hey, Kyle, you got a script? I get a script? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, uh, let me get Tobit chapter 4, verse 21, because it goes right back to Revelation 3, 9, 3, 9, 2, 9, where it says, you are rich, right? It goes right back to how Christianity is keeping people from keeping God's commandments. So Ooh. even in Revelation, it's telling you, this is how you be rich. Read. Tobit chapter 4 and verse 21. And fear not, my son, that we are made poor, mm. for thou hast much wealth, Ooh. if thou fear God. Oh, man. Precept. What about Precept. Precept, man? And depart from all sin and do that which is pleasing in his sight. Ooh. So, when, so in Revelation, it's already telling you right there, man. for you to be rich. He's telling you, keep his commandments. Man, how can I get my precept right there, man? That's Tobit 4 and 1? 4 and 21. Man, you've been studying, man. Shit. <laughs> All praises. All praises to the Most High right there, man. Hey, one like thing that, that uh, we say um, is that we know that they're not the true Jews according to the Bible, according to Correct. Revelation. But now, who are the actual true Jews? You mind if I just pull the precept yeah, yeah, in Deuteronomy right, 28? Right. We're going to prove to you who are the true Jews according to Biblical prophecy. Deuteronomy chapter 28, 15, and jump down to verse 68, right? Make it short. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So this is Moses speaking to the children of Israel when he led them out of ancient Egypt. Egypt That's is in Africa. That's right. You make with that information what you want, right? He telling them that the hard head is going to make a soft ass. Guess mm. what we did? We yeah. didn't listen. Verse 68. Mm. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So God is saying that the so-called blacks, the Hispanics, and the Native American Indians, which God calls the Israelites, the is going to... The real Jews. Right, real are Jews. going to... Go into Egypt, the right. same condition they, they came out of, which was slavery, hard bondage, oppression. How the, was they going to go? With ships. Meaning God says that the Israelites, the true Jews, are going to go into slavery on cargo slave ships. And when That's you look at right. our history, our history says it all, that we came over here on cargo slave ships. Read. That's right. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. Read. And there you shall be sold. And there, whenever you like, wherever you go, whether you go to Cuba, you go to Haiti, you go to Puerto Rico, you go to North America, South America, mm -hmm. you, what's going to happen? You shall be sold. What's going to happen? You shall be sold. So I did not, I did not just add on to the scripture. Right. God says you are going to be sold after you leave, after you get to your destination off the cargo slave ships. Read. Unto your enemies. The people that actually love you. Unto your enemies. Hey, funny thing. Guess who funded the? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, guess who funded the? Um, uh, the sled, the ships. The ships. The Hell, ships. that was insuring the ships. Yep, there we go. Mm. The kids are, so I Jewish. leave that up to you guys <laughs> to figure out. Yeah, there you That's go. That's it. I'm done. Butter, butter, butter. Dude, what is this? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. His word, his word.